I'm recording you just for my own safety. That's completely fine. Can I please see your ID so I know Did I commit a crime? Tom, come out here. It is a borough ordinance violation. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to, uh, we'll talk to, uh, so can I please see your ID? Did I'm I commit a did, did I commit a crime? You're in violation of a borough ordinance. I don't I don't know if I committed a crime though. That's the thing. Okay, I'm speaking. I could just leave right now and then everything is fine. Look, man, I'm really not trying to give you a hard time. I understand that, but I didn't. I don't feel I committed a crime. I didn't say you did. I'm just out here making sure you're okay. I'm doing my job to clear the parking lots. Well, I'm we fine. Have a borough ordinance in town. That you cannot sleep in the park. Then I'm leaving. Why do I have to show you my ID? Because I need to identify you and make sure you're okay. Yeah, but I didn't commit a crime. I didn't say And I'm did. fine. Okay, I didn't. There, I, I have a job on this now. My dispatcher. Okay, so I, I so I, I so I didn't commit a crime. I never said you did. You're in violation of a borough ordinance. But that's not a crime. So I can in leave. borough of Audubon, it is. So am I being detained? Right now, yes. Because you're not answering any of my questions. Okay, so, so what are we doing here now? I'm asking to see your identification so I can get you out of here. And what if I don't show you my ID? Then I'm going to detain you even more. Take you out of the car, put you in handcuffs until you start cooperating. Can we get like a... And my supervisor's already on his way. Okay. Like, I'm really not trying to give you a hard time, but I, I'm not really no. sure. No, I'm actually All not. All I'm asking for is your identification so I can get you out of here. But now, because you're making it difficult. So after they put me in handcuffs, uh, they ran my name and my ID, and uh, now they're letting me go. So uh, a word to the wise, uh, do not sleep at a Walmart in Audubon, New Jersey, because they, uh, they will step to you quick. All right, guys, good night. <laughs> That's where I stopped the video out, because now I'm thinking this. I need to know if a crime has been committed, me sleeping at a Walmart in Audubon, or it, it's a, if I'm breaking an ordinance, I'm not really sure. If you did not commit a crime, you do not need to show the police your ID. However, me being a traveler, me being in New Jersey one day, going to Delaware the next, uh, Virginia in two hours, I don't really have time to be fighting with the police I don't have time to be going to jail or be going back to court and all this or that. So I stopped the recording because I said, you know what? I don't know if breaking an ordinance is a crime or not. And in my rear view mirror, I seen another car coming. So I stopped the recording. I get out, I show her my ID. She immediately puts me in handcuffs, immediately puts me in handcuffs. She tells me, turn around, I turn around. I start complying. And then like six cop cars just come pouncing on me. And so I'm sitting there, I'm just chilling. And then uh, this, uh, I guess the supervisor, the sergeant, whatever, he comes like, hey, let me talk to you for a minute. Uh, by then they, they immediately took the handcuffs off me. So I was in handcuffs maybe one minute. So he says, hey, what am I doing? I said, I'm, I'm traveling. He goes, oh, what are, you, what, are you, like, what are you traveling to? I was like, I'm just traveling at the end. Uh, that, that broad, it wasn't that she was rude. I she just caught me at a time where I was I just fell asleep and she woke me up and I was pissed off. And you know she was being dumb, kept asking me. Uh, I just want to make sure you're all right. No, no, you just want to make sure that I don't that I don't have any warrants. I'm not stupid, you know what I mean. So I ended up, of course, uh, giving them my driver's license. And they start asking me questions, whatever. And I swear to God, and I told the the sergeant, I said. New Jersey is the only fucking state in the whole nation that always gives me a problem all the time. It never seems to fail. Fucking New Jersey. I, why is it always fucking... It's not New York. It's not PA. It's not Mass. It's not Ohio. It's not West Virginia. It's not Virginia. It's not Maryland. It's not D.C. Uh, it's not New Hampshire. It's not Texas, it's not New Mexico, not all those dead Florida, nothing. It's only fucking New Jersey that always gives me a hard time, a hard problem. Every time I'm so fucking tired of this New Jersey crap. But anyways, uh, a word to the wise. I know some of you ass wipes 
watching my video right now are gonna be saying like, oh, you shouldn't have showed your ID, you should have fought for your rights. Uh, you know, you should always be presented with as much uh, uh, information as you can. Uh, I don't have time with my phone to look up uh, what's considered, uh, what's an ordinance, what's breaking an ordinance. Is it the same thing as drinking a beer in public? I have no idea. I don't know New Jersey law. I don't come to New Jersey uh, too much and it's because of uh, stupid fucking uh, laws like that. I'm not gonna blame the cops in this situation because cops aren't very bright people. Uh, they only have as much information as what's given to them by lawmakers. So if there's a, uh, a town, a borough, a township, whatever you wanna call it, that has their stupid laws or what have you, that's fine. Uh, they're simply following uh, the, the rules or the laws. Oh, and also, by the way, she, uh, I don't know why this was out, but uh, she seen my, uh, where the hell is it? Oh, I guess I shut, oh, she, she seen my flare gun, right? And she's like, she goes, um, and I think that's why she put me in handcuffs. She's like, I see your flare gun and I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Where the hell is my, I usually keep it under my seat. <laughs> are, you, are you talking about this? Oh, is it illegal to carry this? So I can't bring my fucking... Anyway, I'm not even gonna get into that. Um, you can't bring a gun into New Jersey, uh, but you can have some asshole in Camden, which is like right next to that town, like put a gun in your face and fucking rob you, right? Six cop cars for a guy sleeping in his van at Walmart, and you got fucking criminal weirdo scumbags in Camden, three, four miles down the road, probably got warrants for murder just walking around the streets committing all kinds of crime and they're fucking with me but but again at the end of the day you guys know me i i, I have given cops a, a hard time before you know hey if you're fucking with me if i feel you're fucking with me i'm gonna fuck with you that's all there is to it um other than that i'm not anti-cop uh, i'm pro-cop cops are needed and I have no problem with any of those cops, even that stupid dumb broad in the, in the, in the video that I took of her. Uh, she's not very bright, uh, you know what I mean? She's about, she's gonna go about as far as being a police officer, that's about it. Probably not a very bright person. Uh, she's not talented enough to get a, a, a good, a real job in the private sector, so she's a you know, cop, whatever. Uh, you know, no, no problems to those other cops. They're just doing their jobs. The, the mixed broad, there's like some broad, she's like black and, uh, Hawaiian or some mix I don't freaking know uh, You know, Listen, at the end of the day it's a job They got a job to do And I got a job to do And I, you know, I gotta film police interactions Just to make sure, gotta keep them on their P's and Q's You know what I mean uh, Definitely and pro police uh, Except for New Jersey I'm not pro police in New Jersey uh, New Jersey cops always fucking suck And always will uh, Unless you're a New Jersey cop and you're gonna pull me over In the future, then uh, I love you guys but anyways, Black Bigelow, I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. I'm taking my ass to sleep. I'm tired. Those assholes woke me up. Peace.